G'day everyone, it's Warren from NQ Explorers, back as promised with Riverside Detecting Part 2 and I've got the little AT sniper call on the AT Max. I uh, found some great stuff in here uh, on my last trip in. Uh, so I'm going to try it with the smaller call now because there's a lot of uh, old and new rubbish in here but there's some very good targets in amongst the, uh, the trash. The little sniper is going to ping those targets. I'll dig the high tones, I'll dig everything from 50 up in case there's a gold sovereign in here, you never know. Uh, so I'm going to dig a lot of rig pools and I'm going to dig a lot of uh, wine bottle tops from modern era but uh, I won't show you any of that. Let's just see what we can get out of here that uh, reflects this area's use as a Victorian era riverside promenade area and picnic area. So let's get into it. I just want to show you this here. Um, this is a very old area obviously and a good way to tell whether uh, you've got any layers of modern fill is this situation. We've got a very old tree but as you can see the buttress roots are pretty much buried so I'm, gonna, I, I'm pretty sure this particular spot I'm standing in and it doesn't apply to the rest of the site uh, has been filled with modern filled dirt. You can see there's a bit of a buttress root there but the tree is not at its natural ground level. All I find around this tree is modern rubbish so that sort of uh, illustrates my point. So I know I've shown this to people before but um, when you're looking at sites, it doesn't matter if it's an old house site or anything, have a look at this situation with the trees because if your old trees um, aren't at natural ground level, uh, that will mean that your very old targets are quite deep. doesn't mean you're not going to detect them, but uh, it's just something to think about anyway when you walk onto a site. Well, we're dealing with a little bit of uh, long grass here today. That's fine. It's the middle of summer and it's uh, very humid here today. Grass is uh, growing before my eyes. And I've got a solid 82 on the old Victorian path that I've done with the larger coils. Now, this is where the sniper pays off. Lots of rubbish. I've just detected something that I never have before and I never thought I ever would. Uh, and I, I don't believe that someone's actually dropped this because they don't, they're not a generally a circulating coin. Have a look at this. I can see it's a $5 coin. Look at this. Look at the size of that. $5 Parliament House. There's Queen Elizabeth II. Now, I didn't do that. That beveled edge isn't me. Maybe a mower. 1988. Okay, so it's a bicentennial $5 commemorative. Have a look at the size of that coin. It's Cupro nickel, it's not gold if you're wondering. Never thought I'd ever find a $5 coin. They're not the kind of things that, that they're not in general circulation and they're, um, they're collecting coins, collector's coins. That's on the old Victorian path. What a find, I cannot believe it. Well, I'm pretty stoked about that. That sniper has just paid for itself. This is a curious little run of uh, finds. I just got the $5 coin, this is the same hole. And in the same spot is this little sterling silver artifact. Looks like a charm, a wishing well. It appears to be a wishing well. Definitely ser sterling silver. Uh, that'll be branded and it will be hallmarked. That was a 71 for that little piece of silver next to the $5 coin. I wonder what's going on here. Sterling silver charm, $5 coin, more targets in the spot. Okay, if you're wondering what the audio is, I'm being attacked by some weird insects. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, I've just found the source of that uh, sterling silver wishing well. A beautiful little sterling silver charm bracelet. Let's get it out of this all together here. And see what it's got attached to it. Oh, look at this, awesome. It's a little Pandora bracelet or something. It's got plenty of gear on it, look at that. It's a bit of a loss to someone. That's all silver, and that's very heavy and solid. Good quality. There's a, uh, we've got a butterfly, we've got a guitar, electric guitar. <laughs> awesome. Uh, what's that? Some unidentified object. Uh, something around here. Half a moon or something. We'll take some photos. And I'll just check all those rest, uh, rest of those signals and getting in this, this area because the rest of this will obviously be in here. Well, this is what sniping is all about. Good high tone, compact, repeatable target in amongst all the rubbish. So I've got, as you can see, it's an 81, 82. It's saying, I'd say it's 15 centimetres. I've, 
I've got a bit of grass to deal with there under the coil. So we're going to dig this one live. As you can see, it's very compact. Quite loud on the proportional audio though, so it um, may not be far from the coil at all. So we'll have a crack at a live uh, dig here. Let's see how we go. Pretty repeatable 81 really. So bounces a little bit as you drift off the target, but concentrics are uh, very accurate with the uh, pinpointing in the target ID. Okay, so maybe a deeper target. Now it's out. That's interesting. Well, it may be a coin. Okay, it's down here. I lifted it out with the first pick, with the first pick swipe. We've got an 81 in there. What is it going to be? Well, it's not a can, obviously. Okay. As you can see, maybe you can see, it's a coin. I think it could be a two cent coin though. Looks suspiciously two cent decimalish. Yeah, it's a two. It's a two cent. You can see the filled neck lizard. But anyway, that's good. You can see the way that little coil pinged that coin, that high target ID. Well, this is a nice find. I've hit some Victoriana gilt. Let's bring it up close to focus. I'll clean it. A gilt. I would suggest ladies buckle. Nice little pattern on it there, as you can see. May have a maker's name. Um, Oh, that's great. It was an 84, so it's, uh, it's good quality metal. Um, I don't know if there is anything written there, but if there is, we'll definitely uh, subtitle it on the video. Awesome. Well, this was a jumpy signal. It jumped from uh, 75 to 80 um, and varied as I dug the hole, but I was pretty confident it was going to be a good recovery. I don't know if you can see it in here, but it's a penny. And uh, she's... Uh, oh, yeah, it's an old Australian Commonwealth penny. Probably 1930, I'd say. Let's give it a clean, and uh, we'll get a date off it. So that's uh, like pre-38, 1911 to 38, that'll be. So we'll get a date, and uh, be back shortly. Right, I've lost that Commonwealth penny. Um, it's got this uh, heavy black clay sticking to it, so I can't really clean it in the field. I'll uh, clean that at home with a soft toothbrush and some soapy water, and get a date and some still photos. Okay, this is my little penny hole here. I uh, just got that old penny. Um, definitely another coin in there with it. Mm, hi, I don't know. I don't like that jump on a 90 bit, but hang on, we'll iron check it. Ooh. Uh, could be iron, but it's pretty clean. Maybe a two coin spill. Uh, I'll definitely dig it up and see what's here. Okay, it was a two coin spill. There's another penny in the hole. That's nice. Oh, it's another old one. And this is in... Uh, shall I say, significantly better condition than the last. I think that looks like it's 1920-something. So that's a two-penny spill there. They'll clean up nicely. Um, a little bit of deterioration around the edges there, as you can see, but um, once they're cleaned and preserved, they'll be fine. I think it's 21. Okay, well, I'll uh, definitely get some photos of these because uh, I can't really clean them in the field. Well, that's good. There's KG5 on the other side, smiling away in the... Uh, morning sun well two pennies and a meter away what an awesome find look at this it's an australia shoulder flash i wonder if this obviously an old digger's house here um was world war one runs in along with those uh, coins this is a very old site here um i'm going to suggest that could be even a world war one flash it's got one lug on it so uh a returned uh, serviceman lived here for some period of time um I guess on the way to the clothesline, or whatever happened here, the Australian flash has come off his uniform. Well, I'm stoked with that. Fantastic. This one's a mid-70s uh, target ID on the AT Max with that little sniper. Um, it's out of the hole. It's up in here somewhere. I didn't see anything come out, but oh, hang on, what is it? Looks like it's brass. Oh, no, this is a good find. It's a bit of old uh, saddle stud. This would date from the 1800s, so this predates this home. Uh, that's good. Well, unintentionally, the military release just followed me around. I got that Australia flash a little while back. 
um, wandered back over to where I found it and uh, probably a metre from it. Look at this army tunic button. Well, that's World War II. So that probably dates that Australia flash for me now. That's just glorious. Dome top, shank at 90, in the backyard of this old house. Maybe in the vicinity of the, um, the clothesline, I don't know. So I've got two old pennies and a couple of military uh, relics. I'm pretty excited about that, but um, I did not expect that here. Although, having said that, it's not that unusual to get um, uh, Australian Army relics uh, in these older house sites because obviously all these blokes, World War One, World War Two, they all served in the first or second AIF. And uh, well, fortunately, this bloke looks like he made it home with his uniform, so that's all good. Um, let's see what other relics lie in wait. Well, let's have a look at this one together. It's only a 63, but it's near that uh, Australia and the um, uniform button. Could be the uh, top of a lead roofing now because they're all in that range and they're everywhere here because typical of these old house sites is what you get the old lead roofing now and no it's something else altogether and it's a nice little find by the look of it look at this well I've got a hot spot here all this stuff's within a, I don't know, a couple of square meters this looks to be some sort of Victorian this is what I'm after in here I've, look there's nothing wrong with the relics I've got I love those World War II or army relics because um, this dates from this site dates from the 1840s convict activity uh, in the area that's definitely a bit of Victoriana let's get it up close for you now here it is it's a lovely little domed I don't know flower button maybe it's got some sort of loop on the back. I think it's, well, it's definitely old. I don't know about uh, maker's name. We'll have a look for that if we can get one. But, um, yeah, obviously layers of civilization dating back to the 1840s. Um, well, up to modern times, of course. I did find a 20 cent coin. I didn't show you that. A couple of those uh, early um, KG5 pennies. The World War II finds. So we've jumped back into the uh, 19th century here. And um, let's see what else the place can reveal. This is uh, really going well.